Good day. We are looking at an endothermic reaction this time. I've got a flask, I've got a block of wood, and I have two powders. I'm going to dump the two white powders together. So one of these powders, this is barium hydroxide, so I'll put it into the flask. And then I have some crystals of ammonium thiocyanate. And solids don't like to react in general unless we stir them. So that's what we're about to do. So I'm just going to put a little block of wood, get some water on it, and then I'm going to stir like a maniac. And we're going to see what happens. So we're looking for some evidence of a chemical change. the piece of evidence you won't be able to detect is this stuff stinks. One of the products of this reaction is ammonia. And ammonia, of course, reeks. And as I mix this, and actually the two solids, one of the products is turning things to a liquid. Someday I'll have to show you this equation. Now this gets really, really cold. And it gets so cold, in fact, that the water that was on the block of wood has now frozen. And so that's why I can pick the whole thing up and it is frozen on. So I'm not using the thermometer here. It's just very, very cold. So we know we're below zero Celsius, probably quite a bit below. And ammonium compounds are often used in things like refrigerants and whatnot. But that's definitely endothermic. Energy is going in from its surroundings, and that's why it feels cold. It's stealing heat from us. Yikes, a lot of debris on that hand there. But it's still frozen, and it'll stay frozen probably for about 10 to 15 minutes. But what a nice, stinky reaction. Nothing beats a little ammonia.